So it's no secret that website migrations can often go poorly and sometimes to be honest that can be an understatement. But I'm going to give you guys six tips to avoid that ever happening to you so that you can be the king or queen of website migrations. So number one is making sure to match up your 301 redirects to your new pages, right? This seems so obvious to guys that are experienced, but you've got your old URL here. If your URL is going to change, make sure you update it and map them out like for like. So I've got the Bachelor of Applied Business Marketing linked up with the Bachelor of Applied Business Marketing at the new URL. Because if you don't match them up or you just redirect them all to the homepage, you're going to see a massive dip in your traffic. So this is like redirect 101, but still worth mentioning just because the sheer amount of people that get it wrong or don't know about this one. The second simile is make sure to match pages up with the same intent. So I like to do a little bit of keyword research here just to find out what the keywords that I want are and if I've got them on the new pages that I'm redirecting to. Making sure that the intent is the same on the old page as it is on the new page. Because if you're on your new page got an informational intent but you've got a transactional uh, intent on your old page, it's just not going to make sense and users are going to be confused when they go to the new one. So make sure you link that up as they should be between the two. Number three is to copy your GA code across as well as Search Console. Again, this one seems obvious, but the amount of people that don't copy their Google Analytics code across or update their Search Console only to look six months later and find that all that data is missing. Oh geez, I get flashbacks just thinking about it. Make sure you don't make that mistake and copy your Google Analytics code across. The next tip I have for you is setting up a custom report. So if you head over to Google Analytics, customization and then custom reports and press new custom report, you'll see a screen very similar to this. Chuck in a title, a name, select the type of a flat table, add the following three dimensions of page, previous page path and page title and the metric unique page views. Be sure to add these two filters to exclude previous page path with exactly entrance and include page title with regex 404. Now that with that last one make sure your page title for any of your 404 pages is going to have 404 in it otherwise this isn't going to work. Then save it and all of a sudden you've got your very own custom report telling you whenever someone gets a 404 page on an entrance to your page. This is so handy for anything that you could have possibly missed and will save you a world of hurt. Believe me, I've used this one every time I've done a migration. Second last is remove any temporary website blocks. If I had a dollar for every time I'd accidentally left the discouraged search engines from indexing this side on option in WordPress when I set something live or I've still got the robots.txt blocking any crawls, I'd probably have about $3 but that's $3 too many. Don't make that mistake, make sure to remove any temporary website blocks when you make that website live. Otherwise you're going to be sitting around wondering why it's not ranking and it's going to be something as simple as that. Last and number six is monitor it. Check for any issues. You've now got a dashboard and all the data you could possibly need to monitor it over time through tools like SEMrush to see what's happening to your rankings. Check this over time. It may sound obvious, but believe me, the amount of people that set it live and then go, oh, thank God I'm done with that ordeal and forget about it is again too many. So don't be one of those people, don't commit these six deadly sins in website migrations and you again will be the king or queen of them and won't have any issues.